Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We are going to talk about XRP. And I got to start with this from the Crypto Philosopher. People are going to say, you knew what XRP was. No way. You bought when it was boring. No way. You held all those years. No way. Going down as legends. A lot of you are going to become a legend. If you don't sell too soon and you continue holding your XRP. Because you, maybe you become the first millionaire in your family. Maybe you break away from this. My biggest fear, go to college, get a job, get married, retire, and then die. If you don't have a goal, society will assign you one. This is what you invested for, to break away from this cycle. You know, once you have the time to do all the things you ever wanted to do and have that financial freedom, you will be a legend. You broke the cycle because this is what society has in store for you if you never invest in anything. And it doesn't even have to be crypto. It could be the stock market. It could be gold and silver. It could be real estate, whatever. People invest to get away from this. And I know a lot of you will be crossing the finish line with me. And you will become legends. Ripple launders for the DNC. Nobody knows. And you see, Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple, Fintech, 630-2019, $1,800, Kamala Harris. But this doesn't say they're laundering money. However, with Ripple's ties to the elites, I'm sure they utilize the RippleNet technology as well to launder some money. But I'm just thinking out loud. But you know, since then, Brad has changed his whole political outlook. Pro Crypto Group, Fair Shake, becomes largest super PAC of the election cycle, raising over $200 million. Now, Ripple put some money into this super PAC. And they are not going to back any anti-crypto politicians. So any politician that's anti-crypto is not going to get any of these donations. And even Brad himself has said multiple times, we need pro-crypto politicians in Washington. Other than that, we are not going to get a clear path forward for crypto. And innovation is going to continue to leave this country. Trump denies considering J.P. Morgan and BlackRock CEOs for Treasury Secretary. So Trump said this is all bullshit, that he didn't choose Jamie Dimon or Larry Fink. And now let's talk about this Bitcoin conference. I just might go to the Bitcoin conference later this week. It's the only place in the world where you might run into Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, RFK Jr., and last but not least, the Hawk Tua girl. And you know, this whole Bitcoin conference now seems to be just a political event. And I don't see this as bullish for crypto, really, I don't. Because this is all talking points now, to just to get people's votes. That's the way I look at it. And now that Harris is going to be there, again, it's all about politics and getting votes. It's not about crypto anymore. Ripple leads the way, transforming industries from real estate to carbon credits with tokenization. Tokenization as the killer app for blockchain has been the running narrative for years now. And with some of the world's biggest companies making major moves in this sector, it's becoming a reality. Data suggests that tokenized assets have hit $3.5 billion today, and experts predict a $16 trillion market by 2030. But Orchak's CEO said they plan to bring $30 to $50 trillion in real-world assets through tokenization to the XRP ledger by next year. And the World Economic Forum 
says by 2030, this is going to be a $770 trillion market. So I think it's going to be much bigger than most people think. But then they go on in this article and they say this right here. As we reported recently, a few other analysts have drawn similarities between the current market and the 2017 run. Once again, and they're talking about $150 plus per XRP in this next run up. So when you see that, I think this run is actually going to be bigger than 2017. Things are a lot different this time around. And we know the institutions are here as well. And they're putting money into this market. So maybe $150 plus is more conservative than we actually think. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. Now in that last video, I talked about the EU wanting to know everything that people have. So the tokenization of all assets is upon us. The EU Asset Register is expected to be a comprehensive database that records various assets owned by citizens. The aim is to increase transparency and to better combat money laundering and terrorist financing. The exact technical and bureaucratic details will be finalized in the coming months, once the EU publishes the results of the feasibility studies. So are they looking at this because they want to tokenize your assets as well? And the register could contain a wide range of assets, including real estate, bank accounts, securities, vehicles, and possibly works of art and or precious metals. And somebody went on to say they will also want to know how much crypto you're holding as well. I want to see what the actual what they actually want to do with this data. I want to see what comes next. Since our debut in September of 2018, CBPN has been honored to feature contributions from more than 75 central banks and global organizations from six continents on topics including CBDC, fintech, instant payments, and much more. So this is central bank payment news. But one thing I want to point out here is you see Ripple right here. You also see MTech, which they're working with Hedera. But look at all the banks on here. Plus you see the World Economic Forum, the IMF, the BIS. That alone tells me that my money is invested in the right way. You don't have your name put up there with the rest of these other massive organizations and banks for no reason. And that's why I always said, if you're invested in XRP, you're invested in what the elites are looking at, what they see as the future. You know, the fourth industrial revolution could not happen without blockchain and crypto. And it couldn't happen with a select few cryptocurrencies because part of the fourth industrial revolution is making money move easier across borders and money going digital breaking ripple news today whales snap up 140 million xrp amid speculation of ripple versus sec settlement now everybody's talking about the settlement happening on thursday tomorrow so here's the way i look at this we're gonna see another pump and dump so already prepare yourself for the price of xrp to start dipping because everybody's going to be buying thinking that all of a sudden we're going to get a settlement then when it doesn't happen they're going to try to call the top and dump it all out we've seen this happen multiple times in the past now, I also got to address this. I have imposters on X. If you follow me on X, make sure you see the blue check mark. And definitely don't interact with anyone that doesn't have a blue check mark because they are only looking to steal your crypto. You got to keep your crypto safe. I cannot stress this enough. You know, I see people all the time. 
I lost my crypto. You know, I got involved with this scam or that scam and I lost money. How do I get that money back? Once your money's gone, you are not getting it back. And I keep trying to stress that to people. So if you follow me on X, make sure you see the blue check mark. To me, that's priceless. To pay for the premium on X to get the check mark, it's priceless. If I could save people from losing their crypto. Now, one other thing I want to address is the fact that we see everything that's playing out right now in the market. And, you know, a lot of people are still losing faith in XRP. And it's not just XRP, though. It's XLM. It's XDC. There's some FUD out there. A lot of people are saying, oh, they're never going to move. You need to ignore that. If you want to become a legend in this space, you will ignore the FUD. You will ignore the doubters. And you will continue to hold your crypto. You do not want to sell XRP too soon. I see so many people saying that once the big institutions get here, all the supply will be gone and it'll happen very quick. So imagine you sell too soon only to be able to not buy back in on XRP. I see so many people already saying we're only going to $5 for XRP as well. I think this cycle that we're about to see, it's going to be absolutely epic. you got to remember, we now have clarity for XRP. We know it's never going to be a security. And the Ripple vs. SEC case will most likely be wrapped up before alt season begins. So imagine, this is no longer 2021. Things are going to look a lot different once XRP starts to take off. And you got to prepare for that now. Put a game plan together now if you plan on selling some of your crypto. You know, and I definitely only hold what you plan to sell on the exchanges. The rest, make sure it's sitting in cold storage. And I wanted to address those couple points because every day I get flooded with DMs from people you know, I lost this. I lost my crypto. What do I do now? And I tell them the same thing. You know, if something looks too good to be true, guess what? It's too good to be true. But people still don't understand that when it comes to crypto. And when they lose it, right away, they expect to get the money back. It doesn't work that way. Later, it will once regulations are put in place. I even think the scams will end once regulations get here because I'm sure the penalties for scamming people are going to be very high through regulations. But, you know, until it all happens, you got to stay patient, stay positive so we can get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.